amazing out plays ready for you today so sit back relax and enjoy some of the best plays from your fellow summoners starting off today's episode at our number five plays dark rub 69 on leblanc right at the start we see her double distortion to get the safety over the wall as the enemy team starts to spread out we see vi run into a shroom and then lulu and caitlin right after opening up an opportunity for leblanc to come back in lulu comes back toward as leblanc moves in with a flash qw to grab the kill as she teleports back and runs away she stops for a second to try and bait fiddles into a shroom but then he flash fears bringing her low enough to set up caitlin's ultimate ace in the hole starts up but with quick thinking she w's in front of her clone blocking the bullet just in the nick of time allowing her to escape with her life Coming in at our number 4 spot is I.I. Emerton on Renekton with a sick 1v2 under the tower. At the beginning we see him waste no time and dash in on Saver, breaking through the shield and then stunning her. He pops his ultimate and makes sure to stay in range of the tower so that it's always helping him as he heads back and then turns with a flash over the Shyvana ult to kill Sivir with his Q. He then dashes through Shyvana to get some distance but she flashes so he turns with a stun and picks up the double kill in a 1v2. Landing in at third place for this week, we have Rim Sanity on Draven. Right off the bat, we see the enemy team doing Baron as he waits in the brush. He decides to go for it and sends his axes in, picking up the steel on the way back as Katarina goes in, distracting the enemy team as he kills Zin Zhao. Now he goes on Katarina, picking up the double as he gets on Blitz for a moment, but then tries to zerg down Caitlyn, interrupting her ultimate and flashing out as the friendly arrow comes in, allowing him to turn around for the triple. He then turns his focus to Blitz and grabs the easy quad, and now we see Wukong sneaking into the brush to try and surprise him. He baits the monkey to come in, confident that his Baron buff regen and lifesteal will keep him alive as they both get incredibly low and eventually kill each other, making this play result in a 5 for 2 exchange and Baron for his team. Dashing his way into our number 2 spot is Red Mercy with a fantastic 1v2 on Yasuo. We see Aatrox come in for a gank so he immediately starts trying to escape as they chase him and he waits for his cooldowns. He turns with a QE to dodge swipe and then he ignites forcing her to flash as he quickly throws down Windwall to block the spear. As Yasuo loops back around, he uses the ward in the brush to get the upper hand as he sees Aatrox coming in, so he quickly sneaks in the brush as he passes by. Red Mercy makes a break forward, trying to get into range as he flashes the spear and gets on Nidalee, chasing her back, but she just narrowly escapes, and now Aatrox rejoins the party. Now watch this brilliant move as Red Mercy realizes he can 1v1 Aatrox by walling off Nidalee's damage, allowing him to pop Aatrox's passive. He backs off as Nidalee rejoins Aatrox, but as they approach, Red Mercy turns with a tornado on both, instantly finishing them off for the turnaround double. And for number one pro play for this week, we have XL Psy Kongru X on Vayne. At the start, we see a close 3v3 as Vayne pops Cell Division and Ari looks for an angle to go in. She flash charms and Nami tidal waves, but a quick tumble dodges both as Ari gets dropped and Nami becomes the focus. The friendly Janna shields Vayne to ensure the kill as she scoops up the double while tumble dodging the elastic slingshot, but note how she repositions before leaving stealth to allow her to kite back Zack's ultimate. Zack finally reaches Vayne, but a beautiful monsoon mixed with lifesteal is just barely enough to keep her alive, allowing her to grab the triple. And for the bonus clip of the week, we have Hellfire777 on Elise in an extremely intense 2v2 in the Snowdown Showdown. Some key things to know while going into this player that both teams need just one kill to win the game, and red team needs under 10 creep kills to end it, so for blue team, it's time to do or die. As a final note, I wanted to throw a little shout out to Razor for hooking us up with two of their newest Razor Blades. They're extremely powerful and perfect for us because we can do some intense rendering on the go as we travel, which was incredibly clutch this holiday season. So thanks again to them, and as always, all of our fans for supporting our channel. Take care everyone, and I'll see you back here soon for the next episode of our League of Legends Top 5 Plays.